My journey begins at Donner Pass Summit in California, near a trailhead for the Pacific Crest Trail. This region is well known for its controversial history surrounding the Donner Party and their excursion in 1846. The party of 90 immigrants decided to cross the Sierra Nevada mountains in October to get settled into California. Unfortunately, during their travels, a monstrous snowstorm left them fighting to survive with nowhere to go. In the end, only about half of the 90 immigrants of the Donner Party survived, with rumors of cannibalizing the dead to survive still persisting to this day. To me, this story is a reminder of the unforgiving power of Mother Nature. It's sometimes easy to forget her strength when we are surrounded by her beauty. But today, I'm setting out to capture just a small glimpse of her beauty. There's supposed to be a lake around here somewhere so that I've never been to gonna try to find that so that's the plan for now hopefully gonna do some painting it's pretty windy out today so I'm trying to get in a little bit away from the wind so that's the idea hopefully we can find something interesting to paint here I continued hiking on over what seemed like a never-ending landscape of rocks and trees along the way I stopped and took some photos and videos using my new camera that I recently purchased of things that I thought were really beautiful really stood out to me I also came across some other hikers on the trail as well, very rarely, and would say hello to them as I passed by. Today was just a day for me to get outside, enjoy the weather and nature, and to also find a really epic painting spot that really inspired me, and just to add another memory to the sketchbook of something to look back on. And after hiking for about 25 minutes along this never-ending trail, or what it seemed like, uh, I eventually stumbled across a lake. There's a lot out here to paint, so definitely don't want to pass up any of it. Try to do my best while I'm out here. Take advantage of the, the location and the weather. And You know, it's going to be winter soon. It's going to be all cold and I'm not going to come out here. So I'm going to try to take advantage of it while I can. Yeah, you know, there's not much distance or interest looking this way. It's very flat kind of lighting. There's always a balance of capturing what's there and what you want it to be. So and try to figure out that balance for myself. Maybe just a little part of the lake is in it and it's more trees and rocks and stuff. Um, you know, there's a lot of ideas here. There's a lot to work with. I try to take the best course of action that, I, that feels right to me, so. And there's like a shoreline over there. So I'm thinking if I can hike over there, kind of look at it from this, from that view. I think this will be the last place that I hike to. This last little shoreline over here, because I don't want to hike out too far. I still have to walk a little ways back, probably about 30 minutes. You know, I didn't bring any food with me or anything, so... Uh, yeah, I don't want to go too far. But to be honest, I really love this view right here. I might just paint this right now. So, check this out. I really love the color of the blue through the trees of the lake. Little glimmers on the lake and stuff. I like this one main tree here. I think this is it. I think this is it. I just need to find a place on this giant kind of granite landscape to actually paint it. That would be uh, a good spot for me. I'll set up like maybe right here. Let's paint this lake, folks. Let's paint this lake. I'm gonna try to keep this background cool and light. Simplified.
another painting down, another adventure. Of course, there's probably some things I would change overall, you know. There's a few little things, but uh, for the most part, really enjoy it. Had a great experience out here. It's a little too windy. <laughs> you know, sometimes I uh, almost blew my palette away. I mean, I was trying to paint and uh, my palette's blowing away. I've never had that happen before, so. Definitely pretty windy, but very peaceful, very beautiful. Amazing place to paint. But I'm just gonna hike back, uh, soak in more of the scenery, enjoy myself. Yeah, have a good time hiking out in nature. Definitely always great to get out, man. Feels so good. So anyway, I'll see you guys uh, when I get home. Taking a look at the final painting, uh, we can see that it came out pretty well. There was definitely a lot of challenges with this particular painting. You know, the lighting here was quite difficult. It was kind of backlit, so to speak. At least this tree was pretty much backlit, especially this background. I, luckily, I kept it very simplified. You know, there was a lot more going on back here that I could have painted in, but I think it would have really hurt the painting overall. So happy with the background and the way I did this greenery and the tree, the values here, separation from the background, the middle ground and the foreground. We have a clear separation of things going on. So I'm happy overall with that, but other than that, I love the variety. I love the little splatters and everything going on here. I feel like it really captured the mood of what was going on. And also one, the other challenge I overcame was the wind. The wind was just very brutal this day. It's probably one of the windiest adventures I've ever been on. So that was a huge challenge to overcome. And I'm happy that I painted this and captured this of that day. This is just another memory in the sketchbook and uh, glad I was able to enjoy the moment and just pick something, whether, you know, not worrying about the outcome and just picking something, sticking with it and having fun and enjoying myself out there. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure. Peace.